Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to make bases like the ones in the track Mr. Robot by The Sauce. So this is the original track, and this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. And if you're already subscribed, share this with a friend who you think would appreciate having these resources. Also, if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch, and the first thing we're going to do is to load sine waves on both oscillators. You should be getting that very powerful sub. And then we're going to put oscillator B3 octaves up, bring the levels all the way down, and then load FM from B. Just like that. Then we are going to map an LFO into the level of oscillator 1. For example, with a shape like this. We can set this on triplets. There you go. We're also going to turn on the noise and map this into the level. Just like this. We're going to turn on a filter and map both A and the noise on this filter. And then map this into a cutoff. There you go. Then let's go into the effects tab and let's turn on the hyper. Then add some distortion. Add this to the drive of the distortion. There you go. Turn on the chorus. And set it on high pass. Nice. Then let's add some gain with a compressor. Cool. And now to create that rising type of effect in the movement of the bass, we're going to map LFO number 2 on a negative value on the level of oscillator A. And we're going to use this to fade in the bass. So let's set this on one bar and let's bring this down like this. So all the space where this LFO is on is going to be a reduction in gain. Just so it has a really cool articulation of the original track. Let's set this on trigger. And as you can see, you can experiment with this. Really nice movement. Then let's set this semitone of oscillator B in a different value. And that is what's going to give us the tonality. In this case, to match the tonality of the reference, 3 is the sweet spot. And now, just to make this sound a bit more bright, we're going to add an EQ, boosting the main tonality frequencies, and then add an erosion that will add some noise into the sound. So now, that's what we get. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And also, if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. Don't forget that if you want to get more advanced resources and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists, and we also have a lot of production resources on our website, which is going to visit dmbacademy.com. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.